What's up my loves? My name is Paige, this is Paige with Paige, and today we're going to be starting my last Roller Breeds vlog. Hello my darlings, welcome to this video. Today is Monday the 25th of March and the beginning of the final week of Roller Breeds Readathon. I cannot wait to post the vlog for week three because I'm just so happy with how it went. I got back into my reading mojo and I was motivated and I want to continue on with the momentum. So I'm going to continue setting an hour every day to read. So I don't do that thing where I read a thousand pages in a day and then don't read for two weeks. <laughs> so I'm just trying to keep that consistency going. I haven't obviously read for today and it is now currently 7.51 so I would like to dive into that. Ash is currently cooking dinner, that's not going to be too far away. So I'll have that and then start reading. I have watched some YouTube, I've also edited, exported and uploaded my April TBR which is going up tomorrow morning at 6am my time. So I have done the things, I just haven't read yet and that's fine by me. I wanted to get through a few YouTube videos before I dove on in because I know I have that hour set aside which is different from how I'm normally at. I'm usually like I've got to get my watch later to zero and then I can read and it's like maybe not. So I'm curious to see how this is going to go as TBR videos are coming out and all of the end of the month content. I do desperately need to prep for my readathon video that's coming out on Friday. I need to get all the content for that and go through, watch all the videos, and it is a very time consuming process, which I will probably be filming hopefully on Wednesday night and then editing on Thursday. If there's not too many things, I might be able to get away with both filming and editing on Thursday, but I doubt it. So we'll see how that all shapes up, but I'm very excited to work on that. It's just time consuming. So hopefully I'll be able to get all of it into a playlist and get the dates and times sorted and then I can go through and watch the videos later to actually break down the content itself. I might tack that on during my hour to sort of give me a bit of focus instead of just sitting and reading which or playing sims which I'm prone to do and happy with that. That is what it is. I picked up my parcel of zig clean color dot markers so they're just like little dots that you put on your page in your bullet journal so I'm really excited to use these instead of having to draw out circles. I have done the circles for this week but that's fine and yeah I'm just really excited to give these a shot and see how they look because I like things like that. This week should be pretty good. Friday we do have off because it's Easter. Oh so I might be able to film an edit because I don't have to get up to go to work on Friday. We might do that. So I get Friday off and then I also have Monday so I'm going to be able to read a decent amount. Half of me is tempted to want to get through some of the non Aurelium books slightly earlier if I've got time. But yeah so I'm just gonna keep reading and seeing how much we get through for all the end of the month. I will be continuing with Jade War. I'm currently 53% of the way through that. I believe we are pushing back the live show for a week but I don't really mind about finishing it early anyway. I'm 38% of the way through The Witch's Heart so I will probably dedicate the hour tonight to reading that now that I don't have to have Jade War finished for this weekend as well which is nice. I have two hours and 35 minutes remaining of The Witch's Heart so I won't get through anything else tonight but I will continue to make some progress on that and yeah it's just really a good start to the week. I had a really lovely day today at work and everyone's reactions to my hair was hilarious. I also spent a lot of Friday putting ducks in different rooms and the reactions from all of the psychologists and the psychiatrist was just lovely. Everyone had a wonderful time just laughing at the random ducks that they found. The psychiatrist, he found all of them and now he's gonna like blue tack them to the underside of his computer so that they're upside down <laughs> because why not? And I'm like, you glorious human. So I sent out like a very ominous email being like, some of you have three ducks, some of you have 11. One of the psychs informed me that they had 12, so I can't do math. So I don't actually know how many are in the psychs rooms anymore. We're just rolling with it. So that's good fun. I am going to sign off here, go ask Ash if he needs a hand for anything for dinner and then get my reading on. It's very exciting. I've got a good week upcoming, I think. So I will check in with you once I'm done for the night. Bye. 
Hello my darlings, it is now 20 past 10 and I am gonna start getting ready for bed. I have just made a tea and then realized I wanted to do hand wash, but anyway, we're all good. I read for an hour and then I kept reading. <laughs> So reading for an hour got me to read 115 pages of The Witch's Heart and with my reading goal being 133 I just kept going till I hit the next point which was a page 277. I'm right on my page goal for today and yeah I really feel like this is working well for me in having that set amount of time and then just reading that little bit extra to get to the 133. I am nervous about next month because I'm looking at 152, 53 pages a day and that's just a lot. The 20 extra pages tonight was that extra bit of time. So we'll see where I end up but I'm gonna reset the time up for one hour for tomorrow and go do the hand wash while I watch YouTube and have my cup of tea. So I'll check in with you tomorrow. Boy, Hello my darlings! It is now quarter past 11 on the 26th of March and I'm gonna head to bed. But I surprised myself because Friday is Good Friday, I don't actually have work. So I had sort of mentally said I wasn't gonna read tonight. And then I ended up finishing The Witch's Heart <laughs> by Genevieve Cognac. I am giving this four stars and it wasn't reading the full 133 pages. I read 101 to finish this off and I didn't pick up anything else. But this was such an interesting read on the Norse mythology. Angerboda's story, their dynamic with Loki and then other characters was just oh! And I really really enjoyed seeing this retelling, this take on it. I am so excited to comment on the Discord for the book club that this is for, for Bookimon, to see what everyone else is thinking as well and it's just going to be a good discussion time. I think. So I have finished this tomorrow. I will either work on Jade War. Actually the likelihood of me doing anything tomorrow is slim. I really need to start prepping the readathon spreadsheet and getting that organized. So that's probably what I'm going to do tomorrow instead. But very happy to have read something and then on Friday I can just play catch up with whatever I need to. Whether that be finalizing off Jade War before Bookstara or starting on Throne of Glass. So I will say that I I read for one hour which was the goal anyway so I had one hour and eight minutes remaining and I finished it. Yeah! I'm also absolutely gobsmacked because Ash and I went to Coles and they were giving away the Pokemon builders that are happening. We got that many! We're still missing one! <laughs> But I went on to a buy sell page and uh, I'm gonna give basically the remaining collection to some kids and their mom's gonna give me a picture. So look at me being a decent human. I had a really fun day at work. I very much appreciate the psych. So our psychiatrist there, I put ducks in his room and he told one of his clients about it. They were obsessed. And I ended up actually just giving him one of the ducks and it was just a really lovely moment. And so it was a really nice day. I've had a good day. Ash and I went and got Maccas for dinner and then went and sat in a park and had that and then went to Coles and got that abomination of Pokemon builders. <laughs> but as it's quite late, I'm gonna get myself ready to bed and check in with you maybe tomorrow. I might wait until Thursday, just depending on how it all goes tomorrow because I need to do the spreadsheet. But I will check in with you eventually. Bye! Hello my darlings, it is now 10.35 and I'm heading to bed and it's surprising because it is relatively early for me to be going to bed, but I'm tired and I have not read today. And I'm totally okay with that. I finished the readathon spreadsheet. I didn't film it. I am gonna try and film and edit it both tomorrow night, which might be a mistake, but we'll see. And then I've watched YouTube and that's it. And I'm feeling really good. <laughs> I definitely think my brain was just like, mm, don't even try tonight. You've read so much over the past week and you've got Friday off. So if you read tomorrow night and Friday, you'll be well back on track. So that's what I've done. Now, rationally thinking about it, I am now 166 pages behind. So I would need to read 299 pages. <laughs> yeah, this is why I should keep the momentum going, but whatever. I just have Throne of Glass and Jade War 
and that's it. So I'm feeling pretty good. And then I can dive into April's TBR. I'm both very apprehensive and extremely excited. So we'll see. But yes, I still have a little while to go. Ash made beautiful steaks tonight for dinner and like an absolute mound of mashed potato. And I managed to eat all of it, so that was great. And then he didn't get to roll it for his, so I get to take it to work tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. And then I had a really good morning in therapy. I can't remember if I mentioned in the last vlog and I also haven't edited it, but I had a pretty bad anxiety attack on Saturday night and just talking about it in therapy really cemented where my panic had come from and what was a couple of the instigating moments that made it just spiral. And so that was cool because I could just go, okay, yep, yeah, I see this, this and this connection to why this occurred. It was nice realizing that it wasn't just out of the blue because for a lot of my anxiety attacks are usually revolving around vomit because I have a phobia of it and so I can see the train of progression for where my anxiety has come from but for Saturday night I didn't have anything um I woke up from a nightmare and that basically set it off but the level of anxiety to what the event was was disproportionate and so just being able to talk through it and realize like oh that's the subconscious guilt there made me feel a lot better about it. And then the fact that my therapist validated the way that I handled the situation because she was like, yes, when you're in that state, you need to remove yourself from the situation. So walking away from the bed and then I just couldn't get back to sleep. Still work to do, but it was just nice. And I managed to talk to mum. So they're traveling, they're currently in Vietnam. And so getting to talk to her was really lovely. And yeah, it was a really good night, but I am ready to go lay in bed and continue watching YouTube. And I will check in with you tomorrow. Bye. Hello, my darlings. I have just finished filming my readathon video. It is a 5.30. We had an early mark. Oh my God, my hair. We had an early mark today at work, which was great, but I do have some work that I want to do for them. I was trying to do it on my computer at work and having an absolute tantrum. So we're just gonna do it on my computer. And yeah, so Ash is finishing at six. So he sounds like he's had a absolute day. I am very proud of the fact that I came home and immediately filmed the readathon video. So I will need to edit that sometime tonight. I do want to read tonight to not be significantly further behind, but I did read 25 pages of Throne of Glass last night. When I was in bed, I was just, I got the itch to read, which was great because I'm like, yay, this is what I needed. So I didn't read for a whole hour, but I read something. So yeah, I'm gonna continue listening to YouTube while I work on what I need to for work. And then I will go pick Ash up at six and then see where he's up to in terms of dinner and what he wants to do. And then we'll go from there. I wanna basically check in to say that I did read and have started Throne of Glass and I will check in with you when I have an update. Bye! Hello, it is now quarter past 11 and I am actually going to go to bed. I ended up getting out the jigsaw that I want to work on this weekend and I was just gonna sort out the edge pieces. I've now finished the border. So we've got <laughs> tomorrow to continue working on the actual image. I'm gonna uh, leave it here. I continue just watching YouTube. I'm gonna leave it for that and I will check in with you tomorrow. Bye! Hello my darlings. Today has been a very very chill day and it is Good Friday so we weren't at work and we just rolled with that. I legitimately have not brushed my hair. I was going to film and edit today and instead I watched YouTube and read Throne of Glass. <laughs> so I'm definitely very surprised with myself. I didn't think I was going to get through the entirety of it today but then I sort of had an inkling to continue with it and ended up just keep going and I ended up really enjoying it which surprised me. It's sort of interesting reading it knowing where Sarah's writing progresses and thinking how much her characters have the potential to grow so I'm really excited to see and now that I've started it I'm like okay yeah I can I can get behind this I definitely will be attempting Crown of Midnight next month hopefully today is the 29th and I just have Jade Water finish off so I'm 50% of the way through that I should be able to get all the things that I need to get done tomorrow and Sunday and still have time 
to uh, read it and finish it. So I'm very, very happy with that. And then Monday will be Magical Readathon. I am half tempted to not vlog for Magical Readathon as I'm just over <laughs> vlogging. It's been two, three months straight and I don't normally do weekly vlogs, so it's just been extra content, but we'll see where I end up getting to. I still have the entirety of week three to edit, and we're about to finish <laughs> week four, because that is three and a half hours of footage. I had a really lovely day. Ash and I went out for a little bit of a pokey walk, but really, we just chilled and did what we needed to. I did start on Amy's puzzle that she gave me, but I am very overwhelmed by it because I don't know what I'm working on because there's no picture. That's the challenge of it. And so I'm just like, I think I'm just gonna keep chipping away at that. That is not going to be a hyper fixate on for hours on end. That is going to be a dip in and out as I feel so inclined. So it is about to hit midnight. So I'm gonna go to bed, but I will check in with you tomorrow for where I get up to with Jade Walk. And I will check in with you then. Bye. Hello my darlings. So it is now quarter to 11 on Saturday the 30th of March and oh my god it's been such a good day. I ended up reading an amount of pages. Oh, oh, oh okay that's still 200 pages I have to read tomorrow but I think I was here. Yeah so I read 52 pages today. Only 200 to go tomorrow. That's three hours of reading time. And that's going to be interesting because we've got piggy raids. We've got a lot of end of month things that I want to do. Like actually set up my new planner and all of that good fun stuff. <laughs> Cleanse myself. Clean up the house and just get my shit sorted. So then Monday I can go back to having a relaxing day. I've collated all the information for my book haul to be able to do that. And then once I finish Jade War tomorrow, I'll be able to do my final reading stats as well to have that underway, which is exciting. So then Monday I can film and edit the whole video. I have three and a half hours of vlog footage that I want to work on as well as looking over some from the live, but I think I filmed for most of that. So that should be okay. But yeah. That's basically where I'm at. Had a really, really good day. We went and got a new parlor pump. So it's Paul 2.0. It's a lot bigger than Paul the parlor pump 1.0 and it's great. We went and did pokey raids and got to meet some people in our local community, which is lovely. And yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to now go brush my teeth and go to bed. And I've also watched a fuck ton of YouTube and it's been great. So I will check in with you sometime tomorrow. Oh. It's a sad ash. Oh, it's just tired. It's a tired ash. Did you appreciate me waiting until you had your toothbrush in your mouth to say, you don't have to do it if you don't wanna? Rub. I will check in with you then. Bye. Good morning. It is now 10.37 on the 31st of April. No. The 31st of March and I gotta get my ass into gear. I have three and a half hours of footage to edit, I have three hours of reading, and I have Pokemon raids today. I believe in me, but I have spent an hour watching YouTube, so good fun. I just don't know where I wanna go, because editing I literally have to stay here and edit, whereas with reading I can put my audiobook in and do stuff. So I think I'm going to, I've still got my timer set for an hour for reading throughout this week, but my audible will also tell me where I'm up to so I can see it that way. So I might do an hour of editing and just sit and get through as much as I can and get myself started and then we'll go from there. I was also hoping to film my haul for March today, but honestly, I don't really care, and I will happily film and edit it tomorrow. We've just got so many things happening, and it's great. Also, Mum, I'm using your mug. It says, I don't mean to interrupt people, I just randomly remember things and get really excited. And if this isn't telling of genetic ADHD, I don't know what would. But it matches my hair, so I feel aesthetic. It's great. Do I look like the wreck of the hair press? Yes. Am I gonna go dive into editing because I need to not procrastinate on it any longer? Yeah. Okay. I'll see you on the flip side. Bye! Hello my darlings. It is now 20 to midnight on the 31st of March and I did it. I 
finished my tibia. I completed roll of braids. We made it. So tonight I finished off Jade War by Fonda Lee and giving this four stars. It... I still really enjoyed this, but I don't know. I'm too tired to brain and I'm going to have to talk about it in the discussion. But I just found Hilo was captivatingly annoying in this one. And oh, I just... Just some of the choices that are made, it was really frustrating to read. And then, but then the women in this are on a whole other level and it is so marvelous. But dear God, the men, they drive me nuts. <laughs> but overall, it was such a wild ride as well. And yeah, I was working on my puzzle and listening to the book and I'll show you that in a moment. But I finished Jade War and for Roll of Reads, that was from my wish list. And I also finished Thread of Glass this week, which wasn't on my Roll of Breeds TBR. And then I'd also completed The Witch's Heart, which was for Bookimon, not Roll of Breeds. So that plus that, maybe about that much. It was a big week and very proud. I did complete Roll of Breeds and I did read a significant chunk this month. We also have Ice Planet Barbarians, Thorn Hedge and Thread of Glass to add to the stack. So I am chuffed. I am very, very happy with myself. That can sit there. <laughs> I'm gonna film my book haul tomorrow and then be able to film my wrap up and swap out my TBR. Yay! For now, I'm going to go brush my teeth and go the fuck to sleep because I am exhausted. I am so proud, but holy dooly, patchouli. It's been a big month. So I'm trying to decide what to do because half of me wants to vlog for Magical Readathon because it is going to be so intense. Half of me is overseeing my own face. <laughs> so, yeah, don't know. But I need to close out this vlog. I'm just so amazed with how I managed to turn my reading around this month with doing the swapping screen time for reading. I definitely know that I'm not gonna be doing that for the next few weeks, just because my screen time for the past two weeks has been astronomically bad. We'll see, but I do have a lot tomorrow to do for the new month. And since it's a day off, it's like, yay. So we'll see what I get up to, but I managed to get a decent amount of editing. I finished my book, I've worked on my puzzle. We did Pokemon raids and had a grand time and got to meet new people that are like actual functioning human beings. Amazing. I'm gonna insert the clip of the jigsaw here and then come on back. You was done the two leaves. I've done all the way up that side. Whoa, that's crazy. You've done amazing. Look at how pretty it is. I am so impressed that you figured out like the orientation of what it was and where it needed to go. Oh, it was a bitch, but I got there. <laughs> Woohoo! Bye! You proud? Oh, he is proud. You oh, he's happy? He's proud of you. Oh! Uh. Uh. It looks so cool. I can't wait to see more of it. Because we don't really have, like, I've got a lot on tomorrow, but nothing that involves leaving the house. Nope. I'm excited. Let me know in the comments down below how your March went. Did you have a fun time? I definitely had a very fun month. It was just full of different things and time off, <laughs> which, you know, is how it goes. I have one full week of work in April. The rest I'm doing four days. And then we fly to Fiji on the 5th of May. And I have the Friday of the first week of May off, which I'm just like, ah, oh, so good. So good. So the countdown's on. I'm excited. Let me know anything you want to let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of this mess, feel free to subscribe. I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Hopefully with my hair a little bit more controlled. Bye!